One of the things that recently happened in the United States, I want to bring to your attention, those of you who have gone to Las Vegas, Nevada, have recently witnessed where they have built a replica or tried to build a replica of Horm Akit, one of the most ancient colossals, not only built right here on the African continent, but the most ancient colossal on the planet Earth. And they made him with blue eyes and uh, white skin. And not one word is said that this is an African architectural structure. And even put a pyramid and they even have Tut's Hut. So the sad thing is, is that people from all over the world go here and not one word is mentioned that this is an African architectural structure. Not one word is mentioned that this belongs to African people. And the sad thing is, is that many Africans who go there and spend their money don't even realize it themselves. And the rooms are called Tut's Hut. As Dr. John Henry Clark, another grandmaster teacher of ours, would say, that which is sacred to us has been desecrated. And not only has it been desecrated, but we have been taught to laugh at its desecration. That's a shame. All people who are a people must preserve their ancient sites. For us to be a people, we must have something that is ancient that belongs to us. So when you look up at the face of Horm Akin, you can see where Napoleon, who came here in 1798 and had 21 cannon, his generals, line up 21 cannons and blow the nose off. And George Washington, who was part of the Illuminati, Benjamin Franklin, and uh, Andrew Jackson. That's why they named Memphis, Tennessee off of Menefra, Memphis, where we're going in a few minutes, trying to design from the Grand Masters. So they know they were stealing the people from the African continent and stealing the knowledge as well. So let's go up on the high wall and see more of Hormacket and deal more in depth with the history, the true history of this Grand Master who came up out of pre-dynastic Egypt. Not the fourth dynasty, but pre-dynastic who was part of the real Horus King who was deified as a god. The first deification as God as a man. Oh, your trip it hasn't even begun yet. I know. I just I just overwhelmed. And brainwashed people to death. Well, how do you keep a people slaves? You got to take away their story. You got to take away what is sacred to them, and then you desecrate it.